Hey everyone, here we have a topic called closure under subtraction. So what is closure under subtraction? You, have, you might have seen this properties, closure, associative, distributive in integer chapters on rational numbers. So what does a closure mean? So here we're going to talk about the integers. The closure property says that whenever you subtract two integers, your answer is always an integer. That is, if a and b are two integers, so you can take any integer and when you subtract it, that is a minus 2, a minus b, whenever you're subtracting a 2 integer, then your answer is also an integer. And that is why we're going to say that integers are closed under subtraction. So this closure property satisfies for integer under subtraction. Now you have another property closed under addition. In addition also this rule satisfies or it, it's like uh, you're going to get the answer. Like we're going to say that it's closed under addition and subtraction. So let us take a few examples here. So I'm going to take a two integers like 1 and minus 5. Okay, I'm going to subtract it. So 1 minus minus 5. Like 1 is one integer and minus 5 is another integer. I'm subtracting it. So when you're subtracting two integers, you have one property that when you have a minus and minus, like minus minus signs come, you have to add them. Or you, I don't know how you have learned to subtract two integers. The first integer will remain same. Subtraction will become addition. So instead of subtracting, you're going to add the additive inverse of second number. Additive inverse is nothing but the same number with opposite sign. So it's minus 5. So additive inverse will be plus 5. So 1 plus plus 5 or you can just simply write 5. So 1 plus 5 is 6 and you know that 6 is also integer. Yes. So you can see that when you're subtracting to integer, you always get the final answer which is also integer. That is what they're talking. You can take any small number. You can take any big number. Your answer will come to be an integer. Let us take the negative numbers now like minus 2 and minus 3. I'm going to subtract them. So minus 2 minus minus 3. So when you're subtracting to integer, the first integer will remain same. Instead of subtracting, we're going to add the additive inverse of second number. Additive inverse of minus 3 will be 3. So we, you can see that we have our integer with opposite sign. So we have to subtract them. So 3 minus 2 will be 1. And we have to put the sign of greater number. 3 is greater, its sign is positive. So we're going to get 1. And we know, we know that 1 is also an integer. So we can conclude from here that for integers, the closure property satisfy or we can say that integers are closed under subtraction i hope it's clear in case you have other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching